We're popping back into DaVinci Resolve and we're going to break down these three awesome conceptual title animations that will make you a pro in no time. But seriously, if you're new to DaVinci Resolve and you don't know anything about title animations, this video is going to break down several essential techniques you need to know to create whatever title text animation that you want. If you want more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, please be sure to drop a like on this video, let me know what videos you want to see in the comments below, and let's jump in and get started. For our very first title, we're going to go through two techniques here. We're going to go through individual character animation and also create this awesome conceptual title. We need to create a fusion composition and how you do that is you right click anywhere in your media pool and you click on new fusion composition. Rename it and change your frame rate, click on create and then take that fusion comp and bring it into your timeline. Then just move your playhead over the fusion composition and click on fusion. All right, so I'm gonna start this off with a quick background. I'll just go ahead and attach this to my media out. You see we have a black background. And then I'll select our background and click on text. This will add our merge node and a text node. We can come here, type out our title, change the font to whatever you want. So now that we have our text in here, I want to create individual character animation just like you can in After Effects. To have that level of control over your title, right click in your text block and click on Follower. Then go to Modifiers and then you can go to any of the Transform properties and you can go to say to Rotation. We can go to Frame 20, add a keyframe for Y Rotation, go back to Frame 0 and set the Y Rotation to 90 degrees and this title will just rotate towards us. Then we go to Shading and we'll go to frame 20 again, add a keyframe for opacity, go back to frame zero and set the opacity to zero. So this will just fade in here like this. Then to animate this in individually, we'll go to timing and we'll come here to delay and increase the number to say two. And then now when we look at this, now each letter will animate in individually, which is great. And if I wanna add an animation that affects the entire title rather than each individual character, I go back to tools and right once it's done animating, I can add a keyframe for tracking I can move forward here by a little bit and then increase the tracking. This will animate the entire word. So we'll have something like this. And nice, and to smooth this out, I can go to spline. I'll select character spacing, click on this fit to zoom. Then I can select all of our keyframes, hit S on keyboard, this will easy ease it. And then we can actually do this ping pong animation that will loop this animation. So right here, set ping pong. So now if I scrub through this, you'll see that this will animate on like this forever. Okay, so what about actually making this look cool and duplicating this animation? So what we can do is go to our effects, then we'll go to tools and click on effect and you'll see duplicate. Make sure text is selected and then just double click duplicate. This will add it to our current node tree. Now we come here to the center Y and bring this down, increase the copies. And I'll set the copies to five and then I'll increase the time offset by a little bit. And now this will easily duplicate our text. And if I wanna add it to the top, what I'm going to do here is take all of our three nodes here for merge one, the text one, copy it, paste it. Then I'll break chain for merge one here and attach it to the duplicated merge one and then reconnect this to media out. I'll go to our duplicate property and then increase the center Y to be on the top here. So that's how you can take advantage of individual character animation while also creating a really cool conceptual title. So one of my favorite effects in After Effects is the echo effect because you can easily create duplicates. I'm gonna show you how you can do the same exact thing here in DaVinci Resolve. And by utilizing this technique, you can create some really unique titles. So I already have my title in here, but we need to animate this right off the start. So we can come here to size, increase this. I can add a keyframe for size and then I can go back and I can set this to one. So this will make the title really large. And essentially, we'll just have this very basic animation. But then we'll come here to spline, make sure text is selected, click fit to zoom, select all the keyframes, hit S on keyboard to make it easy ease. And then we'll also loop this by setting this to ping pong. So now this animation will repeat. Now I want to turn this into a stroke. So we'll come here to shading and you come here to properties and you'll see a stroke icon. Go ahead and click on that. You can adjust the thickness right here and we're looking pretty good. So how do we create duplicates? So once again, we'll come here to tools, we'll go to effect and we'll grab duplicate, make sure text is selected and just double click duplicate. So if duplicate selected, we can come here to the size, go ahead and scale this down by a little bit. We increase the number of copies, I'll set it to like five. Another thing I can do is come here to blend and bring this down so this will fade out the back end copies. And if you wanna make the effect a little bit more interesting, go ahead and adjust the time offset by a touch. So now we'll have this beautiful like bounce echo effect here and I like it. So if we wanna add like another title on top of this, just select merge one and click the textile tool. And I typed out my title and I wanna be able to add like a flicker animation to this. So what I can do is right click the text block, click on follower, uh, go to modifiers and we'll come here to the uh, shading. And what I'm gonna do is add a keyframe for opacity, set it to zero at frame at the beginning of our timeline, come here, forward in our timeline and set the opacity not completely to max, but like 0.8. Then we'll come here to timing 
go to the order, set it to completely random, and increase the delay by a little bit. Then let's go to our spline. I'll select opacity. And if I come here to this icon called set loop, this will loop our animation forever. So if I solo this one real quick, so you'll see that now we'll have this nice flicker effect on our title. And when both of these title techniques combine together, you have a really cool title animation done relatively quick. So this last DaVinci Resolve title technique is gonna be really quick because it's really just combining a lot of the techniques we've already done, but there's a quite a few effects in here uh, to make this pop. All right, as before, we just have a title and a background. Uh, but I want to be able to animate this in from, say, the center of our screens. I'm going to add a keyframe for uh, center, go back to frame zero, and bring down the Y value. Okay, then I'm going to make sure text is selected and grab the rectangle mask here just by clicking on it. And I'll make sure rectangle one is selected. I can come here to the width and go ahead and increase this. And then I'll adjust the positioning of our box to be right above our title like this and click on invert. So now what will happen is the title will animate in from the cut of the box. And that's pretty cool. And then add some creative effects. I come here to open VFX. I'll make sure merge one selected and click invert color. This will add it to our current no graph. So then we can move forward on our timeline, go to settings, add a keyframe for blend. Uh, and then go back one, set the blend to zero. So what's going to happen is just going to flip and invert everything. Add a keyframe for blend again, move forward and set it back down to zero. So essentially we're gonna have our text animate in and have this really cool effect. Then we can grab say text one, go to uh, shading, add a keyframe for appearance. We go forward by one frame when it inverts, set it to stroke, and then go right before the invert ends, add a keyframe for the appearance again. We go forward by one frame and then set it back to solid. So look at this, boom, boom. That's pretty cool. And I want to add like a nice flickering effect to this. So we'll go to tools, go to color and we'll find brightness and contrast. Make sure invert color selected, select the brightness and contrast, add it in there. And what I'll do is I'll lower the gain and I'll come here and we'll come here to begin our timeline, add a keyframe for blend. I can move forward by one frame and set the blend to zero. Then we'll go to spline. We'll grab brightness and contrast. We'll select the keyframes and click on uh, set loop. And with some quick effects, you can really add some unique design for your titles here in DaVinci Resolve. All right, if you're new to our YouTube channel, Sunday Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we'll post more videos like this every single week and always be creating.